Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the XPAC 18 personal drone from ATOP. It's got a bunch of different features here, uh, variable speed, auto takeoff and landing, uh, one key tricks, you know, it's got a hold in the air, um, and it'll even transmit over Wi-Fi. So it's got a 1080p camera in it, as well as... Uh, it's got, you know, your lights and everything that, that you would expect to get. We've got the white one. We're going to unbox that real quick. It comes in two colors here, that gray and that white. Like I said, we have the white one. And there's really nothing else on the outside of the box to talk about. So let's go over to the unboxing. So here's the X-Pac 18 drone. Let's get into the box itself. Oh, got a little uh, tab here to pull. There we go. All right. Comes in a nice carrying case there. This feels, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not a hard case, but it feels sturdy. And inside the case, we have the controller that comes with it. Very lightweight. Looks like it might need some batteries. I'll we'll have to look at the manual for that. There's the drone itself. This is a folding drone. It's very lightweight. Batteries go there. This is supposed to be a 1080p camera. Let's see. And up here in the zipper portion, we have, ah, user manual with batteries for the controller, spare blades, and a charging cable. There's also a little screwdriver to open the back up. And you also get two batteries. Battery slides in right there. That's a pretty tight fit. Let's see if there's any power in these. There does appear to be some power in the batteries and comes right out. I think with some time that'll that'll wear out enough where it'll be easy enough to get the uh, controller in there or the get the battery in there. So that's the unboxing of the ATOP X-Pac 18. We'll get into functionality here next. Okay, so I'm out here at the uh, local pickleball courts and we're going to go through kind of setting this thing up here got my batteries charged. The nice thing about the little charger is it's red while it's charging and then it turns green when the batteries are done charging. I apologize for the noise of the uh, truck in the background. So we're going to unfold the propellers here. Now I know it's a wide angle. It's probably going to be hard to see. I'll try and zoom in because I am filming this in 4K but publishing it in 1080p. Uh, okay, so we got our drone set up, batteries are in there, and I'm going to need to get <laughs> my other phone out here. Now this uses the Wi-Fi connection. There's a little Wi-Fi connector built into the drone, and that's where you get a connection. I've, I've saw some things on Amazon, saw some uh, reviews on Amazon that said, be careful, don't get it out of range because <laughs> it'll fly away. So we go on here to our internet connections and we find our drone. Okay, so it comes up as XPAC 18 and then there's a like a little serial number. We are connected to the drone. I'm gonna turn on my remote, the beeps indicate that it's turned on. We're going to make sure that's configured there. We're going to open up this little ATOP app. And I am getting a camera view. So what I'm going to do, I can never remember which is which. The right side is video. We're going to start recording video. 
and let's go ahead and prep our props. Oh, we got a Okay, so here we go. We're going to take off. And then... Whoa! As you can see the trim is out just a little bit. Uh, we're going to lose it here. Okay, here we go. We got a little bit of a breeze today. I got that thing like... There we go. Let's get it back over here where you can see what's going on so there's our drone this thing really needs prop guards because uh, if this is a beginner drone you really don't want to have someone getting smashed in the face with this thing as you can see it's pretty I think the trim is out, especially because of the wind right now. Let's get it back in here. Oh, and we caught the fence. <laughs> so that's actually pretty good to kind of go through that. Um, yeah, it can, be, uh, it can be a little bit tricky. I've got a little bit of a breeze coming in this direction. And so I think that's part of what's affecting things here and, and it's not trimmed out. Let's see if we can get that thing going again. We're just gonna bring it up. There we go, I think we got it pretty stable there. wants to drift because of the wind naturally oh the wind just picked up uh, that's gonna hit the fence again all right so there's not even that much of a breeze here I'm gonna walk off the camera here there's not much of a breeze here and it's really getting blown around Let's see if we can get a, a little bit better Let me look on here. Yep, yeah, let's see. Oh, that's low speed. It's really hard. Especially with the sun in my face. You see it keeps wanting to drift back. And I do keep adjusting the trim. All right, let's bring this in for a landing. automatic landing so that worked so that's the X-Pac 18 from Atop good beginner drone um, just some caveats um, it really needs some prop guards I think and this camera that it, although it's 1080p it's only 20 frames per second you have to manually adjust it for your angle and other than that, great beginner drone, good price. I think that uh, if you have a child who's somewhere between 10 and 13 who wants to get started with drones and you want something that they can crash into stuff without destroying a multiple thousand dollar drone, this could be a good option. Just keep in mind that anyone who has any experience with a more expensive drone is going to be kind of, I, th I think they'll be a little frustrated with the controls just because it's it's a hundred dollar drone right so it's not going to give you the kind of 
response and it's not going to have some of the features that more expensive drones will ha have. But good beginner drone to get started with. Put some prop guards on this, folks. That's it. I'm John Eugenics Grandpa. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more reviews like this, please consider liking this video. Thanks a lot. Bye.